Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Eiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore, hardest difficulty, one save and no retries in the missions. And today we're going to be in uh, the mission Power Grab. Uh, the reward here is an epic pistol as well as essentially preventing the entire Renova Heights uh, section to go bonkers. So un a lot of unrest mitigation. We're okay on our... Um, on our resources and we have had a lot of uh, recent good breakthroughs pistols had been upgraded uh, smgs had been upgraded we got a unique smg um, we got decent armor and the team is almost at level five so we're doing a good job let's take a look at our current loadout here is our new epic weapon um, we got a pretty stacked team and we're looking at like what two encounters that shouldn't be a problem really by the way we never use the android he doesn't even have items <laughs> okay let's jump right into the mission this off. Special weapon at this location. nice we got a special weapon at this location it seems like a breach on a rooftop all units 25 defense or a crit aim during the breach and aim during the breach okay so the crit should be with a high damage weapon let's take our submachine gun for that i like the extra defense let's give it to blue blood um just need to let him go in last and we are Putting the uh, we're putting um, cheer up and the verge first, so they get an aim bonus. Let's see who we're fighting against. Good, got a hitman, got a legionnaire, an adder, a trooper, a python. And a bruiser. That makes sense. Well, it's a target rich environment. I would like to start with the adder, which could be a relatively easy takedown. There we go. That's one unconscious enemy. I still like the idea of uh, the hitman. This here is the crit uh, shot. Might as well take it. There we go. That's really some solid damage. And we're ignoring his cover, so that should be a kill. There we go. Hitman down. Okay, very, very nice breach. We're, we're in a four versus four scenario over here. Yeah, and I'm thinking we might want to give shelter up. the kinetic shield. Also increases his aim quite a bit. As for cheer up, how about? How about we're just overwatching because the odds are not really great. But overwatch would give us a really solid chance to, to deal with them. Yep, okay, well. Chances were still not great. Nice, we dodged. Dodge, by the way, functions just as an XCOM uh, 2. I found that uh, out recently when I was investigating the topic further. There's no wiki yet, but uh, it indeed functions as an XCOM 2. Enemies all around you. Virch is expanding his neural network. 
Wow, their aim is crap. And thanks to regeneration, nothing happened. Love it. Okay. Um, you know what? Pushing the legionnaire further down. Not a bad idea. And we're dealing some very solid damage thanks to our weapon upgrade for SMGs. And somehow they don't like Verge. Good, let's take out the Legionnaire. That's an unconscious one. Yeah, we're not shooting the Python, we're rather going for the Bruiser. Solid damage now with the upgraded weapons. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give it to them. They certainly don't like Verge. Kinetic Shield? Yes, please. And let's take our weapon instead. That deals way more damage than the shield, at least from up close. And at this point, We can just add him to the network. And mind flay everyone. Which, mind you, he will still be healed. Thanks to them being in the network. There you go. That's what I mentioned. Three points of regeneration. Just such a strong ability. Kinetic Shield prevents any further problems. Relocating the trooper. Yeah, I love the Hail of Bullet uh, ability. It's guaranteed to hit the target, has a three turns cooldown. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, we don't need to use it now. I just want Verge to regain his last hit point. Back in action. Feel the fire covered. We are counting on you. Alright, if when we main uh, when we're now mind flaying him, he should still get uh, the hit points. You know what? Let's not take that chance. Rather go next to him than let him move away and dra uh, draw Overwatch. That's well, way more safe. Good. That's the last hit point that I wanted. Well, that's an alternative. Um, we do not have train grounds, so I'll just wait for Blue Blood, who has train grounds, and finish this guy finally. Good. Now we have, I think, five unconscious targets. We're full of uh, hit points. The team functions without a healer, but quite frankly, the enemies weren't super tough. 
So, all non-aggressive enemies uh, are surprised. All shots will crit. Oh yeah, shots will crit. That's great. Reaching in. Yeah, we only have one enemy over here in Adder who could even take shots at us. The Necromancer is a great target. The Hitman is a great target. The Paladin is also not a bad target. Yeah, again, target-rich environment. Let's go with the Adder first. There we go, add her down. And I think now we're going for the hitman. Yeah, let's just take out the hitman. Good, two down and... It, oh, I remember that mission. There were a lot of them in the garden. That's the target. Okay, perfect. So we are getting blue blood up here. Cheer up this time. Takes a shield for himself. And we could either go for the Paladin or the Legionnaire. I think I'm taking the Paladin. Deals more damage and has nastier, um, nastier side effects. The Necromancer over here is another really good target for us. Okay, so first things first. Let's get this guy down. Well, it appears that's the only thing that we can do. Good. Now, there are the spectral zombies. It's not the end of the world. We do have our null lands, which could theoretically drive completely through it and nullify the zombies, even escalate further, so it can be a quite uh, quite painful experience for them. I would like to take out Give me your the Legionnaire. Uh, Stun for only one round. And oh, let's use the Battle Madness. I actually just want to extend our neural network Yep, that's good enough. Cover is gone, which is not a good idea or not a good sign. Um, You know, I wonder the face lands. I think it would go through this point. Because what we're now going to do is a little trick relocating the Legionnaire even further back and setting up a nice little face lance. Time to give a kinetic shield to Birch. And hit the Legionnaire. Well, it's a setup for him to die as well. Good, and with our face lance, we would hit like what? Three. 
three targets. Unfortunately, not four. Unfortunately, not four. But we can start softening up the Necromancer. Yep, that's a good one. And that will be enough uh, together with the Face Lance, which is now going to fully escalate with its damage. Oh my god, I get all four of them. Perfect. Look at that. Ten points of damage. <laughs> Beautiful. Correct setup. And we just cleared house. Moving into full cover. Good move. And it feels like the hitman should kill his friend. That's not a job that we should do. He wasn't his friend to begin with. He was always a double agent. Heading over. Good. We're doing preparation because we can't really reach the target. Cheer up. Moves over here now that everyone has their shields. Things are very much escalating into into our direction. Yeah, no matter whom he is going to hit, the kinetic shield is preventing any form of damage. We don't need shelter. We can simply take out the hitman. I said we can simply take out the hitman. Thank you. Yeah, and besides the light wounding of Virch, I think we've done pretty well. Convincing team effort. The level 4 abilities really make the characters a lot stronger. I found it always kind of a pretty substantial upgrade in power. The neural network healing, incredibly strong. The escalation of uh, the Null Lens, incredibly strong. Just very, very good abilities. Good. We got Artful Fathom and 20 Intel out of this mission. Perfect. And look at that payday. Payday is a good day. So, let's take a look at our loadout here. It's no longer enhanced pistol. Let's go for Artful Fathom. Grants the Lightning Hands ability. Oh shit, that's a third shot from time to time. Uh, it's probably going to be limited to one's uh, mission, but still, that is good. That's an incredibly good pistol. So unfortunately, our credits are not enough to upgrade either of uh, the weapons. Had I not bought the additional med pack, it would have been enough, but enhanced shotguns or enhanced assault rifles. It's just so close to enhanced assault rifles, but it is what it is. I'll just keep on saving. We'll eventually get there. We got a lot of uh, intel though, so we can uh, work uh, with something here. Got another 40 intel down here if we want, or a lot of money over here. And I think at the moment money is almost, hmm, you know, 
It's intriguing to get 40, uh, 40 Elerium because 20 Elerium, if you're doing the Uncovered Ops missions, 20 Elerium is worth 75 um, supplies. Now 40 would therefore be worth 150 supplies. If we were to upgrade this here, which we could, we would even get another 15 Elerium boost. Now that's all fine and good, but there's always a but. If we were to do the mission here, oh, it is already financially upgraded. So you're telling me the only reason why that is 85 is because we already do have 40 bonus credits. Hmm. See, that's one thing that I'm not 100% sure about the blue missions, whether or not <clears throat> the whether or not the field teams uh, yield a credit. It says plus 40 credits bonus on district missions. And this here does not look like a district mission. Hmm. Could be, I'm not sure. You know what? There's one sure way of finding out. We could upgrade this here at the risk of, um, of not having the upgrade available on our next mission. You know, I wanted to take the supplies anyways. I'll figure that out later. I don't want to invest the upgrade now because we're going to have a real mission afterwards and I want to spend the intel wherever the next mission pops up. So let's continue here and go grab the money. Which means we can now either upgrade shotguns or we're upgrading uh, the assault rifles. And given that we currently have no shotgun user, I will go with assault rifles, but the next investment will be an upgrade to shotguns. Because we do have two shotgun users that are currently not on missions and they will soon come online. So it's enhanced shotgun time very very soon 70 80 more um, 80 more as uh, supply good and what is our option here so we got either an option for massive amount delirium plus extra intel and reducing the unrest that's not bad I generally like it uh, the other option here is impact frame advanced auto loader and 30 intel well, the weapon mods are certainly interesting and we could get even some more money out of it. This year, is, this year would mitigate four unrest, so three mitigation, one reduction. This year would only mitigate three unrest. 45 Valerium is pretty damn good. 30 Intel on top of it. That year is 30 Intel as well. And... Hmm. The advanced autoloader is so and so. I noticed I'm not running out of ammunition that often. However, it could be a counter against codices. So, to be fair, that is actually a um, end against um, grenades that deplete your ammunition. So that's actually not a bad weapon mod. Given that we have zero weapon mods, this mission here would be pretty good because each of uh, the weapon mods is worth around 50 to 60. Um, yeah, I generally like that mission. On the other hand, <coughs> we wanted to upgrade our armor to level 3 and this here would definitely give us uh, the opportunity. Plus, yeah, it mitigates four unrest, so I'm almost inclined that we're doing this mission. Good. We are investing in the finance here, so in the upgrade, which makes this mission even more beneficial. And now look at it. 
that is 45 30 and 40 for our uh, for our uh, resources so this mission definitely will get priority now uh, of course it's a matter of us investing there and very soon we got to use our cooldowns plus also do the mission here in old town because we don't want the city to be that unruly good looks like a plan we're almost done with uh, training in spec ops and assembly actually so after the next mission we're going to hit a nice little power spike thank you for watching guys uh, this will be the end of uh, today's episode. We're going to see each other in the next episode. As always, um, keep calm, post your comments, and hit the like button. That helps the channel. Thank you so much, and see you um, in the next mission. Bye-bye.